I changed my mind. I'm going to go back and see if I can talk to Barry real quick. Because if I remember correctly, if it's the day I think it is, which according to my clock of this is a Sunday, I want to talk to him. Which reminds me that we get starved to the front of the party. So let's at least explore the battle tower before I leave, just to make sure. Anyway, welcome back to Raid Sports. Let's play Pokemon Pearl version. This is your host, the MJ406. Oh, never mind. I don't really see him here, huh? There's a lot of people here in the Battle Tower, though. I'm not going to go to the Battle Tower. Let me just talk to everybody here, at least. They profile you on TV if you set a good record here. This is my only chance to regain my, regain my glory as an idol. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Ooh la la, you look tremendously powerful. Apparently, I shall look forward to engaging you in a battle. I'm sure you will. Yeah, I used to live in a place called Hoenn. There was a place like this back there, too. I already explained that, thankfully. There's so many tough trainers around. It's scary, but let's do our best, Pikachu. The fact you brought our Pikachu is pretty stupid. He sounds like Pichu, just so you know. Why my battle rooms are full of surprises. Can you imagine running to an old rival who moved far away? Who knows what cool counters you'll have? Yeah, I wonder. Excuse me, do you have a moment? Can you describe your feelings when you're about to begin a battle? I also want to know how you feel when you win, lose, or become number one. Oh, yeah, and you can have a bunch of sayings here, just so you... They're more for online purposes. And you saw those when um, I did it in Hoenn as well. Don't care. Huh? You changed your mind. I guess you're fickle. Yep. I treat my little guy till he couldn't take any more. He's going to do a one win streak for sure. Right, Pikachu? He's like, get the fuck away from me. <laughs> that Pikachu looks so angry. <laughs> Never mind. I thought I'd see... My rival there, the Popo. Well, you know, I guess I guess he has some undercover business to deal with. He sure does grow up fast. I'll say, if I remember correctly, I'm pretty sure you battle him here whenever you want. After a while, anyway. I wanted to say it was, like, right near the Pokemon Center on weekends. Maybe it's not yet. Okay, well, either way, the rival area is past here. Stark Mountain is this way, too. It sure is. I just got some wicked Pokemon for the Battle Tower. So, yep, we got a new reason to explore. Which reminds me, it's time to train up some of my other weaker Pokemon. Well, amongst these guys, anyway. I gotta get them to buff up, in case I feel like... There is another thing that does happen, which I might probably go over towards the end of the LP as well. The fight area's down here. The battle area's this way. So, yep, hopefully you have your HMs on you still. There's still plenty to explore. More I am to find, more wild Pokemon to encounter. As a matter of fact, hey, we have some wild Pokemon that are familiar to us. Level 51! Oh my god! Yeah, wild Pokemon here are pretty powerful, so. Whether you want to catch them or beat them up to train yourself, you don't want to go back to the Elite Four, you got plenty to do here. So have some fun! And prepare to die. Although. You know me. I'm going to try to catch you. Because that's just the way I do it. Yes, drag out another Pokemon. That's how you catch them. You have them tackle them on the ground, and then you suffocate them so you can then throw a ball. They're... Oh my god, I forgot my strategy of throwing a quick ball at it. <laughs> well, screw it. Just go for it. I'm sure it won't be that hard to catch. It's a goddamn Fero. Don't know why I wasted an Ultra Ball, but whatever. Ooh, wow, I'm so out of sorts, I forgot about my quick ball strategy. That did work out pretty well, though. So, yep, once you got the national decks, you can start catching these guys like wildfire. Here's Fear of the Beak Pokemon. It has the stamina to keep flying all day on its broad wings. It lights, it fights by using its sharp beak. I mean, of course. And here's a good way to get some level 50s for your battle tower run if you don't feel like using your main team for some reason. Which I don't know why you wouldn't, but, well, whatever, that's on you. Either way, we got new fun area to explore. Yay! It's going to be painful. And I think plenty of new trainers to battle who also have Pokemon from the older games. And you have a Roselia. Hmm. I already have a Badoo, so I don't technically need you. So... Yeah, no. It's only a Roselia. I like a Rose Ray in the wild. That would be kind of messed up. Oh, shit. Cut. Oh, man. Oh, man. What are you doing? I don't think I like what you're about to do. Believe me, you're not. I need cut. So, no. Yep. 
We're doing it. No! Do I really want to give you cut? I mean... I can always reteach you Dragon Claw or Fire Fang. Or Crunch, really. I have enough power with Crunch. <laughs> you moron! I need it! <laughs> I need it, man. Oh, the pain and sorrow of needing cut. God damn HMs, I can't wait for Gen 6. I mean Gen 7 when they get rid of all this crap. Oh yeah, there's no rare candies. I could use those. Uh-oh, I didn't think it was going to be over here. In the embrace of Mother Nature, people at Pokemon grow strong. Oh no, two women ace traders, this is bad. Oh, my bird bow I carry wherever. And so, here I am. So, yep. These won't be as strong as the Elite Four, but they're still going to be pretty tough. So hopefully you're prepared. Because, well, there's a lot of Pokemon from outside the Sinnoh region. So be ready. It's going to be one heck of a fight. Far fetched at a zigzagoon, eh? How interesting. But hey, at least a good time to actually, you know, fight some old Pokemon. This is the first game to actually do this. Oh, then I guess technically Gen 2, although that was kind of more just previous region and, you know. Still weirder than Johto. That's where you get to Kanto, and that's the only place you can catch, like, Houndour and Murkrow. Like, I don't know why they don't have them in the actual Johto region. It makes no sense to me. It really doesn't. Oh, yeah, I forgot you were close to a level up. Well, good for you, Flappy. You're going to need them. Beat the crap out of that thing, like, ooh. So, yep. If you thought your adventure finding all 150 pick Pokemon in the center region was done, that would make for an even more boring generation than it's been. Believe me, the post game in this game is actually one of the better ones. So, yeah. Then again, Gen 1 and Gen 3 have pretty weak post game. Oh yeah, I can't automatically switch out of frickin' Level 56! Oh jeez! And that's a freaking Skarmory and a Swallow. Oh boy, I might be in over my head a little bit. Snarf, give me a hand. Yikes. So yeah, these trailers are tough. Hopefully you're prepared. I'm gonna try to go through these all to the best of my ability. You know, it's probably a good move I actually did that. Oh no, Endeavor! In case you don't remember what that move does, basically, Pokemon uses Endeavor, knocks the Pokemon down to their HP level. I forgot you're incredibly freaking fast. It's like you thought I was gonna hit you first or something. Phew! Thankfully, that thing has weak defenses. So you know, hopefully your Pokemon are ready for this. It's a pretty tough area. They actually make the Pokemon like somewhat competitive from these trainers. Not quite like the Battle Tower, but you know. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Sorry, forgot. Can't use that in a double battle. It's just not going to work out. Your physical defense is high, so I'm going to go with my Thunderbolt. Thankfully, a special attack and regular attack are close to one another, so having Thunderbolt actually works out. Yep, see? Physical attack is high, so I'm going to ruin you, Skarmory. Ah, oh, Skarmory. You're a good one. I wish they carried over some of the old sprites from Gen 3, like Skarmory. I'm pretty sure that's extremely similar to his um, sprite from Gen 3, if I remember correctly. Well, there you go, everybody. You beat it. My, you are tough. As were you. Each I have a new place, and it turns out to be the battle zone. Yeah, it's a pretty dangerous place. You should probably go somewhere else. I was born in the own region. I'm only just recently flown here. That explains the Pokemon. You can go strong anywhere. It doesn't matter where you are. Yep. It sure doesn't. But hey, this is a great place to get stronger. Oh no, Psychic. But my float has crunch. After this, you will send out Pokemon to battle me. Well, you are insisting right now, and you got in my face, dude. What do you want? It's like you people think I can avoid these battles. You stand here waiting for me to do this. Like, it's not that cool. Slowpoke. Oh yeah, they didn't have this regularly. Oh wait, no, they did they have you regularly in this region? I don't remember. But hey, at least it's a good place to battle new Pokemon. It's good for filling up your Pokedex so you can actually look at these and, well, 
I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly, with online trading and stuff, at least back in the day, as long as you saw a Pokemon from the, um, as long as you saw a Pokemon and have it record your Pokedex, you like set up online trades. It's one of the best things this generation did with its online trading system. It's either this game or Gen 5. We're basically deposit a Pokemon online, and you know, people can see what it was, how good it was, and, well, you'd be able to offer that and request a certain type of Pokemon. Such as Pokemon within a certain level range, a certain Pokemon, a certain level range, maybe holding a certain item. That was the thing what I did. So I could do stuff like asking for a Slowpoke that held King's Rock. Because that's a great way to... That was actually a really good way to fulfill some of the trade requirements. And you know, if people are looking for the same thing, you offer them something enticing, and maybe you'll be able to get that so you can get a Pokemon officially in your Pokedex like that. Oh, so close! Ooh, but you are paralyzed. That is nice. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that is pathetic. So pathetic, I'm gonna kill you, Strength. Oh, baby! Yeah, I do definitely do love the global trade station. Well, that's one of the best things they've done for evolving trading. Heh, <laughs> evolving. <laughs> Sorry. After this, I had to pay out your prize money. Yeah, damn right! Give me that money, bitch! Thank you. Well, haven't you after this? Why don't you just do as you like? It would be more fun that way. Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. That's the rest of this LP in a nutshell. I'm doing what I want, but I'm going to try to show off whatever I can. And there's plenty to explore this place, so, you know, feel free to look around a lot. Because, oh yeah, you got a lot to do. Oh, Fultzel's in pain. I forgot, he is definitely hurt. Oh, no! And repels won't work because Pokemon are probably at about my level, so trying to repel them away is kind of a waste of time. That. And some of them just aren't worth battling. Excuse me, you stupid Rosalia. I don't have time for you. I just wanted to get this Ultra Ball. Good, I wasted one on Firo. I needed that back. I'm glad I didn't lose it forever. <laughs> oh, fit it back in my pockets. Right in the very spot I left. Eradicate. Bro. They have Eradicate here? Why would I waste my time with such a thing? Why would I ever waste my time with such a worthless Pokemon? Give it here! If I'll catch it, I'll just kill it. And Lifeguard will probably die trying to get it. To die. Oh, never mind. Got it. I forgot. It's a freaking Raticate. Its catch rate should be pretty high, I think. But there we go. Raticate. Yay! The mouse Pokemon. Really? I didn't know that. It whittles its constantly growing fangs by gnawing on hard things. It can chew apart cinder walls. <laughs> Whoa! That has some strong teeth. That's some strong teeth it's got. Yikes. Man, I wouldn't want to mess with that thing. How do I get over there now? Yeah, that's the thing about this place. It's kind of a maze with how you explore. There's a lot of things to look around for in this place, so... Hopefully you, you know, are open for exploring because there's a lot more of it to do here. Man, it's a tough area. It sucks you need all your HM still to explore this place, but eh, what can you do? Ow! Assurance? What the was that about, asshole? I don't like that. I forgot how that move does. You're annoying me. Man, if only Street Shark had the hidden ability of the Garchomp family. Rough skin. Oh. That would be great. Things that hit it physically take damage. Again, that's one of the things that made the rematch against Cynthia and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl terrifying. Because of the remakes, they actually made them really tough. I mean, that is one thing the remakes have always been great with. Is that... Which, I guess I can technically spoil because it doesn't happen in this game. You go through the Elite Four a second time in the uh, remake games. The Elite Four is actually tougher than they were the first time. Stop assuring me that you're gonna die! I don't need that assurance, asshole. But they actually, you know, give you an actually tough challenge. 
it would be like, you know, if you do a base game, you'd be like the 50s or 60s in levels, and you could probably be just fine. It's once you actually get to, you know, they actually have it, so you go to the Elite Four again. All the levels are like 10 levels or more higher. So that way, you know, after you've done like all the post game, you really test how good your team is against, you know, the Elite Four and their element. They try to make their stats like actually like competitive, like adjusting their IV, their IVs and EVs so they're like really tough. It's something that definitely makes the remakes worth playing if you actually want to test out your skill. And they change the move sets especially, so they're terrifying. Oh wow, you just roost. Good for you. You know I'm still gonna kill you one more move, right? And lifeguard, you've been getting a lot of training. That's good. You probably need it, because you have the lowest defenses of everybody. I want my water Pokemon to be stronger, damn it. Probably gonna kill him with Surf, but I didn't want to. Always when I don't need a critical hit. Every time. God damn it. But yeah. I do remember one though on the top of my head looking at some of the rematches for Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They did go over the top of the rematches, which some people are a major fan of. Like, yeah, in case you're wondering about how tough Cynthia is, oh. They made you rebat all the gym leaders, which is something else you can do in the remakes. You can also do in uh, Emerald, you can do that with the Gem 3 gym leaders, and Platinum, you can do that with the Gem 4 gym leaders. Two critical hits in a row with Ice Beam! My man! There you go, Lifeguard. I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. Hyper Potion. There we go. Found something. But yep, that was something from the Emerald and Emerald and Platinum games as well. That they actually let you rematch the gym leaders and battle them when they're stronger. I also think the third versions, at least for Gens 3 and 4, might have had the Elite Force be stronger as well. I don't remember. Maybe not. I know the remakes did. But I know you can rebattle the gym leaders, at least, in Emerald and Platinum, and they were stronger. Had better Pokemon fitting that type, and they were just stronger in general. Also, Al, that's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah, Super Fang, I believe that cuts your HP in half. And then there's just Hyper Fang, which is really powerful. It's still one of the unique moves of Raticate. I guess I should stop training you now, huh? Especially since the alarm's going off. Goddamn alarm system never dies! It never dies. I think Lucario has some action. He didn't have a lot of time in the Elite Four. He was less useful than I thought he would be. Which is a shame. But, you know, yeah, basically you can battle with tougher trainers to really test your Pokemon's abilities. It made it so much fun. It's something I love about the next generation. And something that it introduces on the regular. But, yeah, in case you're wondering how tough they are in the Diamond and Pearl remake, they had rematches for all the gym leaders. They had two rematches for all the Elite Four members and Champion Cynthia. And oh boy. Some of the rematches are terrifying. Like, I'll just give you a little taste. I'll just tell you one of them on the top of my head. But first, we go on patrol to make sure there's nothing strange going on. Occasionally we battle, like right now. Yeah, no shit. Is this not why you're really doing this? Probably. But yeah, basically... Oh, Donphan! Uh-oh, that's a ground type. Yeah, how about I leave? Oh man, what a great for lifeguard too. Ah! There we go, I'm good. <laughs> Just had to get that out of me. But anyway, yeah. One of the freaking... The prime Pokemon of Cynthia. Basically the hardest Pokemon in the game. A brilliant diamond shining pearl. Level 86, Garchomp. You guys stop assuring me. Level 86, Garchomp. Holding the Yachi Berry, which is a berry that reduces the power of Ice-type, super effective Ice-type moves. Given its quad weakness, makes sense to have it. Has the hidden ability, Rough Skin, so any physical move done to it will give damage to the, to the person who attacked it. And its moves are Earthquake, which is a strong ground move, Dragon Claw, which is a strong dragon move with high accuracy, like what I have. Sword Dance, so it can sharply raise the attack power, and 
the one seems weird if you only know the original Gen 4 game. Poison Jam. That's the thing. If you know anything about the later Pokemon games, you would know of the fairy type, which is weak to poison. Thanks much. And Dragon Mo Moves can't do anything to fairy types. So it has a counter for fairies. You know that Pokemon ability pickup? I think that's a good way of keeping the environment clean of litter. Yeah, not a bad idea, actually. But yeah, level 86 Garchomp with Earthquake, Dragon Claw, Sword Stance, and Poison Jab. Oh, that's terrifying. There's something missing in the way I battle. I've come here to fight it. Yeah, I hope you do. And now I'm going to beat you senselessly with that new method you found. It's going to feel oh so good once I finally do. Go to normal type. Lickitung. Great. Oh, yeah. Lickitung is a Pokemon that has a new evolution. If you get Lickitung to learn Rollout, once it levels up after learning Rollout, or levels up as it learns Rollout, however that works, I don't remember its uh, typing. Or how it learns its moves, rather. Basically, you can evolve into a new Pokemon referred to as Licky Licky. That's a lot of the new Pokemon I was talking about that don't really come about till the national decks. A lot of the old Pokemon get new evolutions. And thankfully, Miltank is not one of them. Are you the one that's gonna teach that thing rollout? I'd rather not deal with you, you freaking cow. Fuck you! Eat shit! Ugh. You know, it's so weird. So many people have horror stories of Bill Tank from freaking Gen from Gen 2. I don't. I don't think I've ever lost a Bill Tank from Whitney, actually. Probably because I came in actually prepared. I see it now. I know I whack. I always lower the stats of that thing, too. Attract is a problem, though. I do hate that move. Good equipment to a battle with you. I learned a valuable lesson from you today. I suck. Well, you're not wrong there, buddy. Don't worry. You'll get there someday. But, you know, if you're really dedicated to Pokemon, getting the remake's not a bad idea. I just... I can't excuse the poor state that game was released in initially. I'm driving a train here. Have this refreshing drink. Oh, thanks! Really appreciate it. Where is the wellspring of life? Have you said that? No one knows where Pokemon originated. Yeah, thanks. So no now! You're poor on what's hip and happening. Here's the first story. Hey, do you know it's raining on Route 212? It's sort of weather that's right for enjoying music at home. You have some tea in case the rain covered plants. How's it giggle people running to avoid the downpour? Because people suck. Why is a weather woman trying to encourage people to laugh at those that are having misfortune with the weather? That's not a good weather person! But yeah, say what you want about how good or bad the, uh, how, what you thought of the, uh, Gen 4 remake. I cannot excuse the broken state that game was in. They were so faithful to this game that it almost felt like it wasn't worth playing it. I mean, you know, there were general quality of life improvements and, you know, the balancing improvements that later generations had brought. But they got rid of the non-random encounters. They freaking made it so TMs were temporary again. Like... I need to train through and through. You'll shake up, shake when you see how tough they are. I know people have been saying that recent Pokemon games have been crap. I'm gonna go back to what the older ones were. Look, you don't have to go back and do the things that make it what were problems to begin with. Oh, Pinsir. Like, there are things we liked about the new games you didn't have to get rid of. And it looks like they didn't exactly understand that message. They wanted to be so faithful making like the old games because that's what they heard people wanted. That's what they did. Well, don't get me wrong. It's still fine. I mean, I still won't excuse the broken state was in. You could break the game because you mash the A button so fast. Oh my god, you could do anything. You could surf through shit. You could make it right to the end of the game in like half an hour. This is how broken it was. Like, when the foundation of the game is broken, it's very hard for me to actually, you know want to recommend the remake. I mean, it's probably better now, but still. I have the original game. I still have had no need to buy the remakes myself. Who knows? Maybe this Christmas I'll have a change of heart. I remember back when Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story Deluxe released. That's what I call it, Bowser Jr.'s Journey, that one. I remember I was like, I have the original game. I don't need it. Well, I got it for Christmas last year. 
and I liked it. Although I don't know if I like it as much as the original. I'm just shaking all over. That Lucario is so strong. I didn't think it had rock slide. Through my gang, protein, carbos, you name it. I pumped him full of it. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a replacement for natural training. But not good enough. It will never be good enough. Not to deal with me, anyway. God, this place is so big. It's so humongous big. Oh, yeah, you got you got enough training. I should have Flap you come in. I want to watch him intimidate everybody so this takes longer. Yo, there's a lot of grass here. There's a lot of grass and trainers here. My God. But that's what makes this fun, right? Yeah, this place is pretty vast, by the way. So, hopefully you are prepared for a long trek. As for me, I'm probably just going to fly back to the Pokemon Center at the end of this episode. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. I don't have too much to actually say about the remakes now that we're in the post-game. Like I said, the games are extremely similar. But the, you know, the post-game extra hard battles were nice, like every remake has had. And arguably, the remake for Diamond and Pearl did it better than most by having it be even harder than before. Where are the opponents? The search for them drives me to travel far. Although Hark Old Soul Silver still had a lot of great ones. And, well, one of the later generations, Gen 5, well, it doesn't have, like, you know, like, rematches per se. Ooh. I should trade out. Because that's a Flappy. That's an electric type. That's gonna hurt! Get out of there! Rabbi L, help! I just, you know... That's the only one I haven't really felt like it would be worth getting, because... The other thing with the remakes is that they usually were vast improvements. Like, they had a similar region or added new content, and the game was in, like, a new engine with benefits that later generations could bring them. That's why Fire Rider Elite Breed. Got yeah, the only way to play Gen 1. Heart Gold Soul Silver. Got yeah, the only way to play Gen 2. Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. The, the, the best way to play Gen 3. And they all had a lot of improvements and a lot of extra post-game fluff that helped them, you know expand on what their initial game was before. Well, Diamond Shiny Pearl didn't do that. I mean, yeah, it did have the thing where you could, you know, go and explore that, uh, what was it, Ramonus Park, where you basically go catch more legendaries, which is nice. It was always good to have something like that. It didn't feel like grinding out all the frickin', um, what was it, all the, uh, oh, I forget what it is from Sword and Shield. All those Dynamax battle things in the, uh, wild area. I didn't bother them because I didn't care for them. Ha ha ha! You are frozen today! Ha 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 ha! Man, the freezing is really paying off right now. Damn. And you're a grass and flying type. That should be four times effective. How did that not kill you? How high is your special defense, dog? Damn. But yeah, that's a, that's a thing. I'm not the biggest fan of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl myself. I certainly found a tough adversary in you. Yeah, thanks. This didn't add enough to make me feel like it was worth getting. How much you believe your Pokemon? That's a critical factor in how a battle will turn out. Then again, I'm somebody who never got the remakes. I was gifted the friggin' third gen remake. I did play and enjoyed it. And yet, I still regret not having the gen... 2 remake, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Because now getting that legitimately cost so much goddamn money. <laughs> I wanted to pay $200 just to get the best Pokemon game ever. Oh, it's one of those things I just feel like that's where an emulator is useful. Now, I have the original Gold and Silver still. Why do I keep acting like I'm trying to encourage emulation to play the better versions of games that we don't get? Man, I am incorrigible. I forgot what berry I just pulled out. Kelpsy. Okay, that's what I thought it was. I didn't read, I was just blindly talking. I like playing these and end the episode because, well, there's a lot of battling to do here. I just want to go back and heal my Pokemon, and then I'll come back to this spot once I, uh, well, yeah, make my I'll work my way back here. So, yep, 
that's really all I have to say about the Gen 4 remakes. I haven't played it myself, but you know, the post-battle content is nice, but not much else to go over in that regard, if you ask me. But, you know, it is what you make of it, I guess. Well, either way, we'll have this episode here. So, there's a lot of stuff to do on these further routes, a lot of tough battles to fight, so, you know, get pumped. Pray to the Sun God. You're going to need a lot. So, look, I encountered 15 new Pokemon already. And I caught two of them. Like, yeah. This will really help expand your Pokedex so you do good online trading. And if you have connectivity with your Game Boy Advance games, you can get even more. And if you have your Game Boy Advance games, connect to the GameCube ones, thanks to the Game Boy Advance Link cable, like Pokemon Coliseum and XD Gale of Darkness, you can carry even more of them over. So does the Jet 2 Legendaries. But hey, good luck to fill out the national decks. There's no way in hell I'm doing for this LP. I'm just showing off all the other areas, and that's about it. So let's end this episode here. Come back next time. And we are going to explore more of that route. I wanted to say there's a town up there. Either way, we're going to explore and find out more. Get ready for more tough battles as I am. Which reminds me, I should get back to working up there. Let me hurry up and make my way. Ah, shit, you got my way, bitch.